Unit 7, Lesson 15, Shapes on the Coordinate Plane. Number 1. The coordinates of a rectangle are 3 and 0, 3 and negative 5, negative 4 and 0, and negative 4 and negative 5. A. What is the length and width of this rectangle? Well, the difference between a positive 3 and a negative 4 is 7. The difference between 0 and negative 5 is 5. So the length and width of the rectangle would be 7 and 5. B. What is the perimeter of the rectangle? With the length being 7 and the width being 5, we just add up the lengths and the widths. So 7 plus 7 plus 5 plus 5. The perimeter of the rectangle is 24 units. C. What is the area of the rectangle? The formula for finding the area of a rectangle is base times height. The base 7 times the height 5 equals 35 units squared. The area of the rectangle is 35 units squared. Number 2. Draw a square with one vertex on the origin and plot negative 3 and 5 and the square should have a perimeter of 20. It needs to be a square. It needs to have one vertex. It, need, it needs to have one vertex on the origin. It needs to have one vertex on the origin. It needs to have one vertex on the origin. It needs to have one vertex on the origin. It's on the, it needs to have one vertex on the origin. It needs to have one vertex on the origin. It needs to have one vertex on the origin. It needs to have one vertex on the origin. The origin. And I put a comma after origin. It wasn't there before. I needed to plot a point at negative 3 and positive 5. And the square needs to have a perimeter of 20. You'll notice that I plotted 5 points. I plotted 5 points because I needed to have one point plotted at negative 3 and positive 5. That was only going to form a rectangle. So I had to put a point at negative 5, positive 5, negative 5, 0, 0, 0, and 0, 5 in order to have a square that has a perimeter of 20. Number 3. A. Plot and connect the following points to form a polygon. Here you can see I plotted negative 3, positive 2. By moving three places to the left along the x-axis horizontally, and then two places vertically along the y-axis. Now in green, you can see that I've plotted the point 2 and 2. So I moved 2 to the right along the x-axis horizontally, and 2 vertically along the y-axis. In blue, you can see the point plotted for 2 and negative 4. I moved 2 to the right along the horizontal axis, or the x-axis, and 4 down along the y-axis, or the vertical axis. Next, in purple, I plotted the point for the coordinates negative 1 and negative 4, moving 1 to the left along the x-axis and 4 down along the y-axis. Next, I plotted the coordinates negative 1 and negative 2, moving left along the horizontal axis, 1 unit, and moving down along the vertical axis, 2 units. I plotted negative 3 and negative 2 by moving 3 units to the left along the horizontal axis and 2 units down along the vertical axis. And finally, I plotted the last set of coordinates, which were exactly the same as the first set of coordinates, negative 3 and positive 2. Again, I started at the origin and I moved to the left 3 units along the horizontal axis and then I moved up 2 units along the vertical axis. Here's a look at the polygon after I connected the dots. B. Find the perimeter of the polygon. To find the perimeter of the polygon, I need to add up all the lengths or I can count every unit along each length and total them up. 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 5 plus 2 plus 2 equals 24. The perimeter of the polygon is 24 units. Number 4. For each situation, select all the equations that represent it. Choose one equation and solve it. A. Jada's cat weighs 3 and 4500 kilograms. Andre's cat weighs 
one and two tenths kilograms more than Jada's cat. How much does Andre's cat weigh? This first equation represents it. X equals three and forty-five hundredths kilograms plus one and two tenths kilograms. And there the X represents the weight of Andre's cat. This next equation does not represent the situation as Andre's cat weighs more than Jada's cat, not less than Jada's cat. The third equation also doesn't represent the situation as Andre's cat does not weigh less than Jada's cat. The last equation does represent the situation as Andre's cat minus one and two tenths kilograms equals the weight of Jada's cat. They're asking me to choose one equation and solve it. I'll go ahead and solve for the first equation. X equals three and forty-five hundredths plus one and two tenths. Three and forty-five hundredths plus one and two tenths equals four and sixty-five hundredths. Andre's cat weighs four and sixty-five hundredths kilograms. B. Apples cost a dollar sixty per pound at the farmer's market. They cost one and five tenths times as much at the grocery store. How much do the apples cost per pound at the grocery store? The equation that best represents this situation is y equals one and five tenths times one and sixty hundredths. One and five tenths times one and sixty hundredths equals two and ninety hundredths. Apples cost two dollars and ninety cents per pound at the grocery store. Congratulations, you have completed Unit 7, Lesson 15, Shapes on the Coordinate Plane.